Hello, so it is editing Lyriel. So, I realized that there was a missing thing in my chain of um, costumes, so just ignore the whole thing, kind of. So all the ratings are true, I was all those people, except I forgot to say that in. So it actually goes like this. So in kindergarten, I was a vampire and princess. First grade, I was a fairy princess. Second grade, I was a witch. Third grade, I was a renaissance princess. Fourth grade, I was all the bunch of costumes. And then fifth grade, I was a dead bride. And then sixth grade, I was the, um, whatever the costume. Welcome to another video. I'm only real if you're new. And today, I thought I would do a trend that has been happening. I did to put this differently because over there I have some stuff going on. And, um, this is the first Halloween themed video of the year. And I love Halloween. I almost like should have done more Halloween stuff sooner. But I've seen this trend going on around places and if you're vacuum, that is my mother. But I've seen this trend going on in different places. Like Kylie Jenner did one, and so I thought, why not me? Well, some of the years I don't have, have pictures. They probably are somewhere, but my mom doesn't know they're there. So I probably won't put any pictures on there of those, but I can describe them. I remember them. So anyways, let's just get started. One I remember was when I was three. And I remember I was a pumpkin, and I got a costume from my Aunt Michelle. And it was a little pumpkin costume, and I loved it so much, and I wore it for Halloween, and I thought it was so awesome. Then when I was five, I was a vampire princess. <laughs> I don't know where the costume went. It's from mom. But I have the tiara still. Me and my best friend at the time were vampire princesses. I don't think we planned it, I think we just accidentally did it, so... And it squeezes my head really well. Or the vampire princess, I just remember. It was so fun! So I'm gonna rate that one. 7.5 out of 10. Because I remember that crown being kind of pinchy. And it's, well of course it is now, because my head is like way huger. And then... Fairy princess! Okay, yeah. I was a fairy princess in second grade. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this costume. I had wings and everything, and it was my most favorite costume ever. When at that age, I'm gonna rate this a nine. I loved it so much. I was like, I'm a princess. The only thing I think that could have made it better was that I had to wear a shirt under this, and I would prefer just to wear the dress because it looked weird with that on. So that was second grade, I forgot. And then, I was a witch, just a standard witch. I had a broom that I had gotten also from Walmart and I wore and I wore this hat. And I had to put it I had to take it off because the other kids in the class couldn't see them that they was on school, so in my opinion though, a bit of a babies. But yeah. I have this lovely witch hat that I wore. It was quite a ball. I loved going trick or treating and it was fun. And so for this one, it's not the most creative, so I'm gonna rate it six and a half. In the third grade, I was a Renaissance princess. I had this lovely gown. I absolutely, I absolutely love this dress. I thought it was so beautiful and so renaissance and amazing. And I wore special makeup on that day. It was so fun. It was so fun. And then, to go along with that, I had like this little vowel. Like little thingy. And never stayed on very good, because obviously. I had to, and this looked kind of weird. And I put it over my face because why not, like the bell. And I had several people ask if I was Cleopatra. Does this look like Cleopatra? It fit better back then. Does that look like Cleopatra? Either way, 
I was not Cleopatra and I was astonished that people thought I was. I, and I remember going trick-or-treating and wearing really uncomfortable shoes. But other than that, I really liked it, so I'd give it an eight. In fourth grade, I was a whole mix of costumes. I wore, I wore three different ones. One I did, um, so for a party that I had, I wore um, a witch costume, I think. Yeah, I wore a witch costume. And then for um, school, or these. That was this monster costume. That was a monster. Not my most favorite costume. I was a monster and then I was a Renaissance princess and the witch again. And I went trick or treating in the Renaissance one. I did not, I didn't like that one. <laughs> I, didn't, I mean, I couldn't decide so I just did a bunch of them. And so I'd rate that. Um, all of them, it wasn't my favorite, it wasn't very creative. I just basically did all the other ones before. So I'd say I'd give that one six. Really love this costume. I got it depicted like really spooky makeup and stuff like that. So I had this and then I had this dress. So I'm gonna rate this costume a 9 out of 10 because it was really fun to do and I really like to do it, so, yep. And then in sixth grade, I was uh, another version of the princess. I was a masquerade princess. And this was my sister's old costume. And you see, I loved it so much when I was younger, so I decided to carry it out and wear it in sixth grade when I could finally wear it because I absolutely love this one and I wanted to wear it so bad when I was younger, but I couldn't because it's too big on me. But I thought it was so fun to live out my childhood dream. I'm gonna rate this one eight out of ten. I loved it so much, it was really fun, and yeah. all of the costumes I have done so far. Thank you for watching, and this is just gonna be, I don't know if I'll do this next week, just a different setup, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on Thursday. <laughs> Bye.